Hello, and welcome back to Fairy Bencer F, Advent Dark Force. In the last part, we got a new traveling companion in Tiara, and we performed our first godly revival. Was a little bit clutch though, we barely scraped by, but we did get the effect that I did want. And now it's time to continue onwards to the Fountain Plaza. I just want to make sure if there's any sub events though. Boss in the rest, hello man. I had someone rescued some travelers in the desert from bandits. They said he was an angel or something. I see, whoever he is, he sounds like a nice person. Plus, they said he's a strikingly handsome young man. Well, I thought I was the only one. <laughs> no. No. Okay, nothing from you. Anything from you? Oh, Tiara. Please, let me know if there's anything you need at the end. I will have it provided to you no matter what it is. We need a real five-star chef. Except that. <laughs> I'm a primary. No, can't. Can't do it. Oh, let's talk to some people. Yep. Three additional people. An old man talking about the Dorfer Corp, eh? The uh, Dorfer Corporation does everything. They've got all kinds of stuff such as fish meals, fish, meat, and booze. That makes them sound like a restaurant. Hello, well, not. They also sell tombstones, offer travel packages, and manage real estate as well. That's a huge leap. Yeah. Oh, little boy talking about desert flowers. Hey, a mister! Do flowers bloom in the desert? Huh, this is some kind of riddle. I had that. Lots of flowers are blooming in the desert. If it's true, I want to go see him. Okay. Dinner request from Mrs. Five Star. Oh, the good time. What do you want to eat for dinner tonight? I'm taking requests. Seriously, me. Give me something, matey. Alright, it seems like a waste of my cooking skills. Oh well, I'll feed you as much of me as you want. So look forward to that. Okay. Anyway, time to look for Lola. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad to see you again. Hello there. Oh, I don't think I've met that girl before. I'm Lola. I'm an informant. Such a young child working as an informant? Are you sure that's wise? You're not putting yourself in any danger, are you? Nah, she's fine. Oh, I'm perfectly fine! I might not look it, but I'm pretty tough. Yep, yep. Now then, are you here to buy some information from me today? Sure am. Okay then, your total will come to... this much. Damn, that's expensive. We're returning customers, you know. Can't you throw a little discount our way? Oh? Why don't we just pay the fee, thing? It is most immature for an adult to haggle with a child. Hello, but they could scam us. Wait, what? I figured you'd complain about the price louder than any of us. Oh, you can be surprisingly nice sometimes. Please, do not tease me. I am only stating the most reasonable course of action. Oh, but of course. Oh, so we didn't have to pay up yet. Okay. Now then, I've heard that there's a fury somewhere within Previse Cave. Okay. Oh, great. Sounds like another pain in the ass. Okay, Miss Hypocrite. Guess we better get going, huh? I told you to stop teasing me. But you enjoy it. Ugh, we gotta explore again to find our next destination. How annoying. Complaining won't solve anything. Go, let's go! Please wait, randomly searching for our vague destination would not only be exhausting, but a waste of time as well. Let us borrow a Fury's power. A Fury's power? Yui! If you stab a Fury into the ground, it will pulse like a sonar and measure the exact coordinates for where you need to go. Pulse like a sonar? Yes, so you don't need to worry about getting lost. However, unnecessary pulsing might cause unexpected side effects. Like what? Um, you all know when it happens. You have intestines of Kiri, or are you just making things up again? Well, you can't use a Fury you bonded with for this either, though I must admit that I'm not really sure why that is. Also, please note that there is a limited range when measuring coordinates, so try to be careful about that. In any case, we will simply need to impale the fury into the ground once more. 
Something special. This Tiara girl knows too much. If she's researchers, how come more people don't know about it? Bang, what do you think? <laughs> Kill me. Hey, don't fall asleep. Whoa! Kiwi! <laughs> oh, man. Right, about world shaping. Stop soaring to the ground and stimulate the earth. Ahem. I will now explain the world shaping to you. Dungeons you haven't finished yet will appear as question mark. Before you can explore them, you need to open them with world shaping first. Press square to view every fear you've obtained. Fears of abilities received through God, Revival, or Ideal. As those abilities are integral to world shaping. After selecting a fury, choose where to stab it. The circle represents the effect range, how it location mark to question mark, and press X once you've decided on the spot. You can discover the dungeon's entrance for stabbing the fury near the icon while world shaping. The fury will stab into the ground, and the question mark will turn into a dungeon icon. This will let you access the dungeon. The fury's effect range will expand as the fury levels up. Pull out the fury, and you can still open. I'll enter open dungeons. But leave it in the ground and the effective dungeon will gain additional effects as displayed on the world left. Yeah. Right. Anybody to talk to just to make sure? No. Now I do remember one thing in the game, but I'm just gonna double check this. No. Sometimes when a new arc in the game starts, you can go back to the fountain area and look for Lola to buy more information. But at least like that's not the case for now. Anyhow, we did get the self that does increase our gain XP by an additional 40%, so let's just stab that into the ground. Ah. Okay, so we have Murians, Aquarius, Bandits, Zombies, and Venti. I will probably want to do a bit of grind in here, of course. This is not the first area that I remember going to, though. Anyway, time to go to Krafis Cave. We have arrived! I will now observe how skilled you two really are. Well, okay. You're so arrogant. Why are you always looking down on us? Oh, I do apologize. But you are so tiny, Aaron, and I am so much taller. I don't see much of a height difference, and that's not pretty petty. I'm not talking about height. I'm talking about your attitude. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? She is awfully condescending. Alright, alright. It's not important. Let's just get going. Yeah. What the? Are you on her side now? No. Of course he is. He did fall in love with me after all. You're obsessing over that fact, apparently. Whoa, hey, you two can catfight all you want, but don't drag me into it. Preferably. No, no. There is no need to hide your feelings. Okay, this okay. This looks like it's overflowing with creepy crawlies. Thing. You will go first and protect me, won't you? Hopefully. Hey, don't get carried away, you big stupid dumb idiot! <sighs> You're so cruel, but it feels so good! Yeah, you like that verbal piece way too much. Hey, seriously, what's with that reaction? It's super creepy, right, Fang? Eh, <laughs> whatever, Fulcer Boat. You talk too much. What? I do not talk too much. What have I ever talked too much, huh? Tell me! <sighs> Boy, I wonder. I'm exhausted all of a sudden. Kill, oh. Kill, kill. Wait a moment. I don't remember Ethel being this early in the original. That's great! I'm gonna be honest, she was my favorite female character. That's pretty cool! Oh yeah, I also changed our leader to Tiara for a bit because I wanted to, you know, have a little bit of an adventure as her. I also wanted to see her dash animation. I think that's kinda cool. Well, let's take us her for now. Ooh. This, uh, well, this cave is pretty dark, actually. Also, a new enemy over there. I guess we'll just try and get the drop on you. Here well, three of them. Alright. Well, there's one thing that's especially good about Tiara. She's our some of AoE magic. What a spell! Blech! Oh, I didn't kill any of them though. Well, we can always use a shooting slash. We did knock them back, so they're all lined up. I'd prefer to take no damage since we do have the Fury and for now. I wonder how much XP we're gonna get. Only 15? Wow. That's not worth much. Um, actually, can I just get rid of that toast? It's kind of bothering me. <laughs> I don't want no toast. I might 
pull, uh, get our fury back though, because I kind of don't want to take increased damage. Because chances are they're probably physical attack, you know? Now, attempting it as to grind. I don't really want to do that right now, so we'll quit. Technically, Tiara would get the most benefit. I mean, it does give her more M attack, so I'll probably just give it to her for now. I need to talk to that, actually. How do I talk to the Furies again? I mean, I know what that does. I know what they both do. I'll, I'll find out later. Actually, all fairies, of course. Alright, let's do our best and fight together. I'm super strong, so you can totally depend on me. Oh, thank you, Zelf. It'd be cool if you gave me an opportunity to show off. I'm counting on you. Alright. Let's continue onwards once again. Plus, I want to see with that extra M attack that the self gives. I know I'm giving TR more XP and not Fang, but we will give it to Fang at some point. It's just that it has M attack, so it's more beneficial for Tiara. But speaking of which, will we be able to knock out these Murians now? Let's now. I just wanted to see. And what's the XP difference? Oh, we can just gain three more XP. It's not too much. I mean, it would add up, of course. Hey, is that a Pokemon? Hello. Looking like a little Dratini. Oh, gosh. I think we'll just bundle them up. That's a pretty good idea. Don't go after the healer. Yeah, go after Fang. He's sturdier. Oh, uh, let's... let's going slash this one. Right. Yeah. You wanna knock him out? It's a pretty cool looking attack, though. It's not Alright. Oh, we can definitely get both of them, that's great! Sure. Only on occasion gonna skip the animations. The animations are quick enough, so... No waiting around. Oh, I... Two healing rings and two scuffed scales. That may be a hard one drop or something. I don't know, because there was additional items and it's a bit suspicious to get two pieces of equipment. So let me see what they do. I mean, we get three B defense, one M defense. What does it do? There's a solar storage HP drink that. Let's try it now, I suppose? Maybe I'll be a lot. I just want to see how much it adds. Uh, no, nah, I think I'd prefer to have the defenses, honestly. Yeah. Let's see if we can just block this guy. Oh, breaking apart. Chop it! Oh, it's only a sword. Eh, he has AoE, okay. Uh, side edge. I didn't break apart, huh? Heal up a lot, but can we use? Yeah, we can use cure outside of combat. You know what? So now we only really have to use a item, which would be an energy shard. Oh, but we're actually limited on them. And we should be fine in terms of traversing through the dungeon. At some point in time, I will be doing a lot of grinding. I'm actually going to change the leader back to. Bang. Because I might draw a bit more aggro to him. Actually, maybe. But TR a little bit further back. No? 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 Uh, oh, placement screen. There we go. Uh, no. we, we'll fight a little bit later. I really wanted to adjust it. I got it. Here I go. Oh, 260 damage. That healing rank really is not helping us too much. We don't really need to do this, no. It's fine before we get them both. Yeah, there's pretty much no reason not to use skills right now. Other than, you know, SP constraints. Small chunk of magic. We have that in mind. Let's just quickly use a potion on Fang. I think that's a good one to health. Uh, yeah, we're oh, fine. Well, I was sure enough that I can include them right now. Oh, 
hope. One of those little sneaky guys. There's a lot of enemies, and how goes we to level up? So let's round a few more encounters and we'll get level up for both of them. I kinda wanna do that. Here I come. Oh, they're lined up nicely. Get ready. So, so, yeah, perfectly fine. Lovely. Stay down. When Tay Tay's without taking damage. Because I wonder if we're gonna have a boss fight in this dungeon. I mean, that's pretty much a given, right? That's the exit. Did I just go full circle? Hang on a moment. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead. Okay. Well, dash makes it nice and quick. Oh, I've jumped. Oh, now I'm up there, though. Whoa! Don't want to fight for bandits right now. Get some pubs. I should probably just exit you to get full health, actually, in SP. Most of the SP part. There's a zombie over there as well. I guess we could fight that since we haven't fought one yet. I'm trying to get the drop on them, though. There we go. Oh, they're not all bundled up. Hmm. I mean, how many could I pretend? We could just get rid of one right now, though, right? At the very least, we'll get rid of a Murian. Don't do that. Because I don't know how sturdy the zombies are. You know? Right, so can we line this up? I think at the very least we're just gonna get two. I'll just go for two. Next. My turn. I don't hit that hard. Get ready. There's bomb here. Choppu. Stay down. Get out of here. Well, self leveled up. When support plus one. Huh. Not sure if I like that. But you know what? We only need to do a few more encounters to level up. I might just do that. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's only two more, but at the same time. I kind of just want to get more party members. Is that so wrong? Oh. Well, we did get some energy shards. Which I'm pretty sure is. Yeah, it is. Well, now I'm a bit more incentivized to do it because I, I was running up on them. Yeah, we can definitely go with it. Don't need to do this. She's fang. No, we can't get all three though. If only this had a little bit more range. I could just kill two. Should have used a falling slash actually. Oh well, we'll use it. Now. Right. So, three more encounters, I think, and we'll level up. Oh man. We'll delete this fellow, because two of them are bundled up. We'll block with fang right. Here? That should be fine, right? Oh, it knocked us back. Let's... Keep going. Ow. Don't count me out. Well, let's fair eyes. Can we get a free meeting? Yes, we can. Alright. And I'll just heal up with a potion after this. Next. That was nothing. Lovely. And actually, there's one more encounter that we need. I still need to get level 5, you know? Um, yeah, let's just heal up a little bit. Use. Should that be enough? I'll do one more. Because then, if there's a boss fight, we'll have some left. So, where the heck am I going? It is over that way. And there's an enemy here, too. Yeah, but there's a deeper back there. Oh, nice. bandits and dragons, eh? Oh, block. Oh, there's... Oh, there's an additional nice. dragon, eh? Additional noodle. Oh, he left because he was guarding. Dang I kind of mess. The Neptunia. <laughs> and melee attacks with their AoE, but oh well. See, when they're all bundled, it's just like, oh, I could just combo them. It's like, no, I can't. A new power. Can't now. Nice, little fun. That's all I wanted. Now I'll just top up with a cure, I think. I think we'll be good to go. Let's make sure, yeah, we'll just go this away. And I'll just avoid these conflicts for now. Do, do, 
Kuto. Oh, and a Bane. Okay. Hey, hold on. I've been feeling something strange for a while now. Like we're being watched. Perhaps by Ethel. Who could be watching us? Kill. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill? Huh? Who are you? Hello. This is Ethel. And I'm her fairy partner, Karin. I'm at least to... Kill. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill. What's that? You want to kill? So you're fencers. Acting all lovey-dovey. Makes me sick. Okay. I hate jackasses with nothing but love on the brain. Just die already. It's what Ethel just said. Yep, she's just translating for us. Huh? I can point out all kinds of problems with this situation, but can just saying kill over and over really mean all that? Well, it could be its own language. That's honestly the most shocking part of all this. Huh? <laughs> Besides, I don't need some weird girl telling me to kill. I think I can handle that on my own. Thank you very much. Okay. Kill, kill. Kill, 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 kill. Ethel says, No, I'm not telling you to kill. I'm telling you I'm gonna kill you. Okay, with a smile on your face. Oh, I get it. But why does she just keep saying it over and over? Yeah. You mustn't ask such rude questions, Fang. I'm sure she has a very deep and meaningful reason for it. Okay. Otherwise, she would never speak in such an embarrassing way. Please, leave her be. Oh my lord. <sighs> it is pretty embarrassing for sure. I have no idea what her reasons might be, but I feel bad for her. Yeah, it must be awkward. It's just like, what do you have today, ma'am? Some kill, kill, kill? Alright. <laughs> oh, well, the reason Ethel speaks like this is because she's too shy to speak normally. Oh, but you know, just talking about Kelly is fine. Huh? How does that work? The way she talks now is way more embarrassing than if she just talked like a normal person. Yeah. Can you try explaining it again and help us understand? Kill! Uh, Ethel, please wait! <laughs> okay! What the hell just happened? No idea. Right! That was a prank! Well, bye bye, I thought we are going to still continue on once, though. Are we going the right way? Yes. This just looks very samey to me. Alright, they very, very, very harsh to us, but flipped it around. Oh! Look at us. Oh! Energy shards! More dimensional clocks, okay. So, yeah, they let you just reuse that. <laughs> Alright! That more dashing. Gotta go fast! Oh, I want this item. No! Oh! Enchanted rings! Oh, hey, speaking of rings! We need to unequip these healing rings, because they're not that good. Let's just do. Whoa! 19 magic defense on that! It's kind of beastly. I'll give that to Fang, I think. And for now, since I want a little bit more P defense, I'll give her the fashionable ring. Alright, well, let's just do a little quick save. I think that is a pretty good idea. I don't see the sound. Right. Hello there. Is this going to be a boss? Probably, because it's right at the dead end. Gimme, gimme! Kill, 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 kill! Hello there. Uh, she's back! Uh oh. You'll pay for making me look stupid. You're deader than dead now, so I hope you're ready! Is what Ethel just said. That doesn't even make sense! Okay, so you decide to show your weirdo face again. What exactly do you want from us? Oh, nothing more than to, you know, kill us, maybe? just tell you I want you to die you know Ethel you should try speaking more like a proper lady you have such an adorable face it's a real shame Aww. the way she talks is the least of her problems I mean threatening to kill us you shouldn't say stuff like that even as a joke 
Yeah. I think you need to go back to school. Communication 101, you know? Oh my gosh, we're giving her the sass. Chill. Bang, look out! Uh oh. Let's go, oh, we're fighting her. Hello there, you did quite a bit of damage to Tiara, so yeah, she is a boss fight. Let's just do a falling slash, I think. Oh man, she's tanking this. She just tanked that. Okay. We'll just do this. Big bang, yeah, bang's gonna do most of her damage. We should probably just be defensive with Tiara. Uh, I'm just gonna use a potion just in case, because she won't need to marry us. It heals more than her cure, so eh. shooting slash, ba ba bam, back attack. Gosh, what do you have against Tiara, man? I'll just wait. I should know we can just do a cure, right? Save us some items. What, 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 what? And what universe and game is the healer of the tank? I don't know. Anyhow, have at you! It's a repeating soy cool. Ow! That wasn't too nice. Well, I could bear eyes, you know? Oh, it doesn't play the fiend! That's so disappointing. Well, I'm gonna just use a potion. Why not? I mean, they're not too expensive, anyhow. I actually kind of want to see. Oh, that's a point. You know, I should know what I'll do. I think I've got an idea. I, I want to get her low, though, because I don't know how much damage it will do. Ow. Because let me just see. Yeah, I want to use this. So just potion again. Sponge. Heal 3,000 health points off that. Like, hey, more vitality. Not a bad thing at all. Okay, let's wait. Dang it. Let's wait again. Let's just bonk her a little bit. Wow. Dang. She's got a lot of defense. You know what? Let's just use it. Why not? Preferably behind her. Because uh, we can always heal her with a med potion. I know this takes away 30% of my health, but I really want to see it. Come on, Tiara! Yep, yeah, that, that, she's dead. Okay. Hey! Do drop flask. <sighs> hey, what gives? Attacking us out of nowhere like that. I only take it down from skills. What gives? Hey. It's your own fault, really. You were poking at Ethel's most sensitive emotional weakness. Oh. That's no excuse. She's a fencer as well. She must be after this fury. It's completely common for fencers to battle it out for furies. Kill. Kill, kill, kill. Kill. Okay. I don't give a crap about furies. All I want to do is destroy. Also, I'm just gonna check something in the manual for a quick brief. Hang on a moment. I just want to know about one thing. What is their faint controls? Ah, that's what I was looking for. Just wanted to get a better look. Yeah! Okay, so it's the same as the Neptune ones. I just wanted to make sure because I didn't want to accidentally like trigger a skip button. It's just in case whatever I want to, you know, stop the frames. That is what Ethel just said. Oh. Destroy? But why would you want to do that? Yeah. Because that's how she was raised. Oh. Kill kill. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. Anyway, let's retreat for now, Ethel. I'm afraid they have us at a disadvantage. Kill. Farewell, everyone. Until we meet again. Toodles. Those two started off weird and just went nuts from there. Yeah. Oh. Sail or sail? I don't know. Maybe sail? It probably is sail. I mean, it's aquatic, right? I don't... Sail sounds kind of cool, though. But anyhow. Let's just get back to this little van here. I think that's a good idea. And we'll end the part. Oh.
How do I get a new party member, actually? Morning. Hello. And a very late good morning to you. I've been prepared to depart for quite some time now. Oh, you're an early riser, eh? What? Come on, it isn't that late. To fall asleep before the date changes and wake with the crying of the rooster. That is the natural way for humans. Okay. You sound like someone's grandma. Yeah. Oh, so tired. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. Please hurry and eat your breakfast so we can be off in search of more furies. Just, just bring your burnt toast. Yeah, not happening. I'm not feeling so great. I think I have a cold or something. My body is crying out for more sleep. Oh, no. Th that's terrible. In that case, Fang, just leave the fury search to me and Aaron. What? Huh? That was easy. Are you sure you've been getting enough fluids? Your room isn't too cold, is it? Oh my gosh, she's genuinely concerned. What? Uh, um... Just hold still. Let me take your temperature. What? Uh, sorry. I was just kidding around. Huh? Seriously, how could you not tell he was totally lying? What? Now that I think about it, you were like this around Lola, too. Are you always this stupidly serious? You've got some nerve calling someone stupidly serious after deceiving them. Mm. Well, alright, that takes one to no one. Once we set off on today's theory search, I'll make sure you pay for your sin of toying with my emotions. Okay. Well, you know what, folks? I'd prefer to make this a little bit of a shorter part because the last two parts were quite long indeed. But anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of Fairy Fencer F Dark Advent Force, and I'll see you guys next time.